Hi, my name is Lexi Binns. I'm a second year student here at Martin Community College. And um, today I will be talking about how to finish and perfect and add speed to your turnaround. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to be using Sly, who is one of our more mature school horses. And when he came here, he was more green and the majority of our students have done the training on him. Um, so my exercise is similar to the one um, my classmate Brody just taught. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. So you're gonna start by making a small circle, just big enough so that it's, um, you don't encourage them to like bulge out and you don't encourage, it's not too small that you encourage them to spin. Like right there, he's trying to spin. And with this exercise, you wanna keep them very forward because if you lose forward motion, their feet will get sticky and that'll um, hurt your turnaround. So you wanna keep your circle small and you want your circle to stay in the same place. You want to use your outside leg to kind of keep his hip in. Inside leg is going to keep his shoulder. And if he bulges his shoulder, you can bump that outside rein. And your inside rein is going to keep his bend. Now you're going to walk about 8 to 10 of these circles just to kind of make sure that there's enough speed in between your turnarounds. And then when you actually want your horse to start the turnaround, you're going to set him back with both reins, take your inside leg off and put your outside leg at where his girth is. And now that he's spinning decent, I'm gonna let him go. Cluck for more speed. And then when I want him to come out, I'm just gonna use both legs, kick him forward. See how he's trying to spin right there? Kick him forward. There. I'm just gonna walk about eight to 10 more of these circles. And see how he's keeping his forward momentum, his feet aren't getting sticky. Ask him to spin. Put your hands forward. You want to remember to umbrella your inside stirrup. Because that'll help keep that weight off that pocket. And it'll encourage him to go to there. And when you're done, say, whoa. And then you're going to let him know. Let him stand there for a second. Let him know he was a good boy. Um, so typically I'll do this exercise about three or four times. If, I feel it, if I'm feeling they're good at like one time around, then I'm just gonna say, whoa, they're not doing it any longer because there's no point in reiterating and doing it over and over. Um, but I just wanted to say that um, I love Martin Community College. This has been a great learning experience. Um, I have learned so much since being here. I didn't really know much when I came, just some backyard riding. Um, and the instructors have been absolutely wonderful teaching us everything we know. And this program has been very well-rounded. I've learned how, a little bit of reining. I've learned a little bit of jumping. I've learned a little bit of dressage. We really have expert school horses that know their job and do their job and make you work for what you want. And that's great. That's great for learning.